is going on everybody and welcome back to the CU World for user channel where Sky Bet League One is getting a little bit closer. Our kits have just been released and so are the fixtures. I thought I'd just do a bit of an off the cuff video, just going through our fixtures with you guys and of course looking at them kits. Now, what's we'll start with the kits. We'll start with the kits. That home shirt is unbelievably nice. Umbo have smashed these kits. Absolutely. The, I, the, I love the collar into the kit. And then the, the sponsor just fits the shirt really nicely as well. Uh, really old school um, design, a bit of a retro feel to it. Um, as you can see, we saw the pattern on it, the red, white, blue pattern. We're back to our normal colour blue, none of that navy blue from last year. And the white and the red on the, on the sleeve and the, and, and the neck piece. Absolutely unbelievable home shirt. And then I must admit... I love the away shirt as well. <laughs> Little fruit salad sort of number I've been seeing going around on Twitter. The pink, the black, the yellow, the, the badge, that black and white badge looks amazing. Um, Again, the black on the sleeve and the collar looks great. The sponsor looks really good on the shirt. We're waiting on goalkeeper tops. That looks like it's going to be Octo uh, October. Bloody hell. Uh, that looks like it's going to be uh, July uh, next month um, as of the website. But... um. Really, really nice kits. Some really nice kits there from Carlisle United. Moving into the fixtures, and they're on your screen as you can see. Starting the season, then with a home game against Fleetwood um, on the fifth of August. I think that's a good game to start with. I think you we beat them on penalties last year in the Papa John's Cup. I'm not saying that was their first team, but I think that's a game where we can definitely come out at Brunton Park. Hopefully a packed out stadium, and we we could get a couple. We could get points in that game, I think. Then we take a trip down to Harrogate, um, in the Carabao Cup because we cannot escape the the curse of Harrogate, um, and then we got Oxford away, Wigan at home, which will be a great game. Exeter at home, and then Port Vale away. That is what our August looks like. Moving into September, we start with a home game against Shrewsbury away at the Lamex to take on Stevenage. Then we have an, uh, another away game there that is Lincoln. Um, Lincoln away. Then we have Derby County on the 23rd of, of September before finishing September away at Adams Park against Wickham Wanderers. October, we take on Peterborough United at home away to Bolton on the 7th of October, which is looking like that will be my first away day of the, of the season. I'm looking forward to that. Then we have Orient at home on the 14th of October. We have Portsmouth away. Burton are home on Tuesday night, Tuesday the 24th of October, and then finishing October on the Saturday 28th against Cambridge at the Abbey Stadium. November is a smaller month, only four games, starting with Bristol Rovers. Then we have Barnsley at Oakwell away, and then we take on Charlton at home on the 25th, and Reading away on a Tuesday night, Tuesday the 28th of November. I'm assuming that the first week of November is the FA Cup weekend. I might be wrong, but I'm assuming so. And then moving into December, what a cracking bunch of fixtures this is for December. Um, I think I'll be going to all five of these. Starting with Blackpool away on Saturday the 9th of December. That is brilliant. Can't wait for Blackpool away. Then we've got Northampton at home on the 16th. And then... Saturday the 23rd of December, the, that's a really odd date that for a game of football. The day before um, Christmas Eve then, we take on uh, Cheltenham at Brunton Park before a Boxing Day trip to Fleetwood at the Highbury Stadium. And then we end our 2023 and end December on the 29th at Wigan at the DW Stadium away. That will be a class away day as well. On New Year's Day, we are at home. We take on Port Vale at home. Then we make the long trip to Exeter on the 6th of January. We take on Oxford at home. Then we have Cheltenham away. And we have Bolton at home to finish out January. Starting with February, we take on Leyen Torian to away. We then take on... We, I think we always play Orient in February away. That's really weird. We have, we have welcome... Portsmouth to Brunton Park on the 10th of February. An away game to Burton. That is another Tuesday night. They're Burton Albion on Tuesday night. And then Cambridge are home. Bristol Rovers away. Before moving into March, which is a long month for fixtures, we've got Reading at home. Charlton away. Barnsley at home. Shrewsbury away. Stevenage at home. And Peterborough away. That's a big, some big games in there. And then April has... Um, five games in it. We take on Lincoln um, on Monday the 1st of April 
and then we t- I'm guessing that's Easter Monday, I'm assuming. And then um, Saturday, the 6th of April, we have a long trip to Northampton Town at Sixfields. Blackpool come to Brunton Park on the 13th of April. Wickham are our final home game on Saturday, the 20th of April, before we finish our season down at Pride Park to take on Derby County away. Now, that is... What an away fixture that is. Derby away to finish the season. That's got to be a sellout, surely. We'll sell that out easy, um, I imagine. Uh, but, yeah, really, really good set of fixtures. I think they're the, the really spread out, the away days. like We get nice, really nice month of of, um, of December there. Uh, really, really nice month there. But, like, Bolton spread out. You know, like last year where we had Stockport and Tramier in the space of the same week. We don't have any of that today. Uh, for this season, so the season kicks off as of recording this video in forty two days. Now, my League One predictions will be coming out later on in the thing in the summer because I want to see transfers and stuff like that. Um, but I must say, um, I I have a bit of confidence going into this season. Um, I'm not saying that we're gonna go and get promoted or we're gonna win the league or anything, but. I'm slightly confident with Simo in charge this season. Um, just as well, our EFL trophy or the Papa John's Cup, whatever you want to call it, we have Accrington Stanley, Harrogate again, and um, Nottingham Forest under 21s. Um, and I imagine the Nottingham Forest game will definitely be a Carla because I believe the under 21 teams have to play away. Um, but then, then fixtures will be out in um, due course. That is just who is in the um, the group. So yeah, it's a it, it's going to be a good season. Um, I've just got another little bit of information for you guys here. Just if you just bear with me for one second. Here we go. The the away allocations for this season. Um, Reading have two and a half thousand. Bolton five thousand one hundred. Wigan five thousand. Derby three thousand. Portsmouth two thousand. 800 Blackpool 2,500 Chowton 3,000 Oxford 1,450 Barnsley 5,000 Wickham 2,000 Lincoln 2,000 Exeter 1,200 Bristol Rovers we've got 1,500 Burton 1,800 Cambridge 1,500 Carlisle United 2,000 Fleetwood 1,100 Laidhoveyer 1,500 Northampton 1,200 Peterborough, 2,500. Port Vale, 3,000. Shrewsbury, 1,750. Stevenage, 2,000. And Cheltenham, 1,500. So that is the away accommodations, away allocations. Um, as you can see, there's no like 600 capacity stadiums that we're going to be fighting for tickets over. Um, we definitely have enough. We definitely have enough um, allocation for all of them. What do you think of the fixtures? What do you think of the kits as well? The, the kits are beautiful, they really are. Um, what are you thinking? Let me know in the comments down below. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for 800 subscribers. That is ridiculous to think that this time last year, I didn't actually have... Um, I didn't actually have a YouTube channel and I wasn't making videos. And it possibly was about this time. But... Now we're here coming into this season on 800 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. I just want to thank every single one of you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this bit of an off-the-cuff video. There was no planning involved in this video or anything like that. It was just sort of straight away. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed it. I have been CEO for Stay tuned for some more ranking videos over the summer and a couple of other videos coming up too. Uh, but yeah, I've been CEO for. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.